the understanding in pain has changed substantially in a way that we now understand that there are real important changes in the central nervous system both at the level of the spinal cord and the level of the brain changes that uh, make us understand why people f suffer from so much pain in despite of the fact that the tissues are recovered before this new understanding about a pain we thought we just had to focus on the psychological factors we now know that we still have to focus on the psychological factors but before that it was very difficult for physios to do that now that we have this new understanding about pain we can use the biology of pain so the changes in the central nervous system to convince our patients that we understand and believe and trust that they are telling us the truth and that they're not uh, pretending to have pain but that we understand that they have real pain debilitating pain and this can be an entrance for us physios to also uh, open their view and open their mind, increase their understanding and then be open-minded to also address the psychological factors that we as physios can really address really well, not only by education but also by providing exercise and activity uh, programs. In terms of progress, I think us physios should be really open-minded in looking for uh, other interventions. Uh, I think in general healthcare is starting to change in a way that there is becoming more and more overlap across disciplines. We should be open-minded to other aspects, other treatment options that we as therapists can provide and just to list a few, uh, if patients are not able to, to sleep properly at night then they are unable to, to perform body movement in a, in a normal way. So we should address also the sleep uh, aspect and this impacts substantially on also those changes in the central nervous system that explain pain. Same is probably true for nutrition. There's not so much research to back it up but it's probably something we should look into in, in the near future.